We're going to be doing power rankings for the NHL. We have our staff that made them up. And fortunately, the man who's going to be announcing the top five teams, in his opinion, in the league right now is right with me. And so which are the best teams in the NHL right now? We listed our top tens, but we're announcing five right now. We're going to compare our list a little bit before we get started. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of great hockey content and an entertaining, interactive podcast. So check us out and our library of videos. John, what is your number five team in the league? Well, for number five, I went with Carolina. Um, Carolina, they, they're they at the top of the division, yeah, but they've played some up and down hockey as of late. I mean, they lost a game to the Devils where they got shellacked, um, which was kind of weird. Uh, they've they've played some up and down hockey, They but they're still one of the best teams in the league. I, I don't think that they're uh, – I don't, I don't think they're going to suffer too much without Tony D'Angelo in the lineup, but they're still right near the top. And then I, at number four, I went with uh, Pittsburgh. I just think that they're just playing too well right now. They keep winning games. Um, they are just like a buzzsaw. It's kind of reminding me of Mark's prediction last year about how he said Pittsburgh was going to end up winning the division. They ended up doing so. Um, Malkin's back. Crosby is still Sidney Crosby. Um, Brian Rust is a pain in the ass. Jake Gensel can score goals. Uh, I mean, Dumoulin and Latang are still Dumoulin and Latang. Tristan Rodriguez Jari- cooled off, but he's still good. Rodriguez cooled off, but he's still a decent player. Jari is not trying to catch uh, pucks on his opposite side, which is interesting. But um, yeah, Pittsburgh's a buzzsaw. Uh, number three, I went with Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay looks like they're uh, finding their swagger. Steven Stamkos is just having one hell of a year. Braden Point's starting to heat up. Nikita Kucherov is back. Um, they they look like they're finding their stride. If they make a deadline move um, to get a little more depth and forward on the, in their bottom six, they could be a favorite to repeat or a three-peat, if you will. Um, that would be interesting. So um, at number two, I have the Florida Panthers. Florida Panthers are just they're to me they're they're arguably the most complete team in the NHL. Mackenzie Weger's starting to get a lot more recognition for his great defensive play. Um, if you look at the WAR stats, uh, wins above replacement. Mac- Mackenzie Weger, I believe, is number one or number two in that regard. Uh, he's just incredible. He's having a great year, and um, I, I think that Florida just up and down is probably the most complete team in the NHL. Aaron Ekblad is having a season that should get him some real Norris consideration. Um, Sergey Bobrovsky is back. He's having a much better year than last year. And then obviously you have, you know, Justin Huberdo. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. You had, I had, you had to do that to me before I had to do that to you. So yeah, Justin Huberdo, as Mark calls him. One is- one slip of the tongue, and it's going to be forever remembered. Okay, so then don't bring up Vitaly Kravtsov when we're talking about <laughs> Noah Dobson, then, you prick. Fine, I'll only talk about Hugh Jessamine. Oh, okay, even better. So I'll just me make sure to call him Justin Huberto every time then and make sure that I know that it was you that I got it from. And but, uh, By uh, the way, we have a poll right now on what you're listing as the best team in the NHL, which, by the way, Philk, who is the best team in the NHL right now? Well... I went with the Colorado Avalanche because I just think that they're buzzing right now. Um, word on the street is is that they're looking to make a big addition come the deadline. Um, we know that they've been linked to Claude Giroux, but there's another name that came up last night. Really? Who? Mm-hmm. Patrick Kane. Interesting. Yeah. Colorado. Our friend of the show, Dave Panyota was on NHL network yesterday and said that Colorado had called up Chicago and inquired about the services of Patrick Kane and basically placed a phone call saying, Hey, we don't know if you're at this stage yet, but if you're looking to move Patrick Kane, what would you want? We're interested. So, uh, yeah, that would be a earth shattering trade right there. If that ended up happening. 
So Colorado looking to go all in this year, and uh, they're already at the top of the league. Uh, I, I mean, I, I think if they were to get a guy like Kane or Drew, that really puts them over the top, and that would make them the favorite in my book. Although I do question their goaltending, and I would like to see one add on defense. So I am I gotta I gotta tell you, out of all the teams on this list, only Tampa Bay is the one that I say I like that goaltending. And I understand Tristan Jari's had a, a comeback type of year. I understand Freddie Anderson's getting more defensive support that he has in a while. Darcy Kemper, his he's been healthy, and uh, Bobrovsky has two Vesnas. I, I only like Tampa Bay's goaltending. That's it. Um, yeah, well, Vasilevsky has been considered the best in the world for years. See the best at this very moment. Nope. Guy, the guy wearing this jersey is the best in the league at the moment. But. And- and uh, a team that I put in my top five has a guy who's playing really well right now. How is that beeping when I turned off all the all the alerts? But uh, there's also a guy, Jacob Markstrom, who's who's doing really well right now. So I I, I mean, there's there's a couple other guys. But it, when it comes to playoffs, you got to go through Vasilevsky. You, you, you if you can take a shot at the king, don't miss. Is the way that it's always said. Uh, just going to check one thing. I want to see how that poll is progressing at the moment. Um, and then I'm going to announce the rest of our lists on all of us. Nope. No sounds, no echoes. Uh, <laughs> so so far we got 50% of people coming in as the Colorado avalanche. Uh, there are people that believe the, the canes at 19% and, uh, the Panthers with Justin at 19%, but also 12% say a team that's not listed. So how about that? Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> Score a thousand goals. You're not a goal scorer, <laughs> but you call one guy, Justin. All right. We're going to go to our list on the staff picks and there we are right there. Let me get that banner off for everybody. Uh, here we go. Oh, we uh, now, I, I had I uh, had Colorado and then Carolina, even though Carolina, I'll tell you a funny story about them in a minute. Calgary Flames are red hot. Uh, I They cooled off a little bit. They lost to Montreal the other night, but I I got them right there. Uh, Tampa Bay, Florida. I got Tampa Bay over Florida right now. Tampa wow. Bay's water. And then, Anthony, the, with the last three teams, both Rangers, Toronto, and L.A., yeah, exactly. That's why I kind of laughed when when the two of us ended up having our our picks together. I got to tell you, the last the last five picks are both the same for both of you. Exactly. That was that was very weird. That was very weird. Now again, although Phil, I got to tell you, man, Edmonton Oilers at nine, playing great hockey as of late. I mean, minus the loss to Chicago, which I thought was bad. But they're, they're playing great hockey as of late. Look at where they are in their division after where they were beforehand. Yeah, the, you, but they're kind of the standings. It. I do see the standings. Yeah, they're they're ahead by. I think they're in by one point right now. They they are they are tied for the wild card, and I think last night's standings actually kind of uh, or last night's games really affected everything. Hold on, because yeah, they're tied at sixty four. Dallas um, won in overtime and and went ahead of them. They they were Edmonton was tied for the the wild card spot, and and they they were they were looking like they were down in the water. Edmonton they they fired Tippett and won like five in a row. Yeah, and six three and one in their last ten. But as as far as Edmonton goes, there's still a lot of questions that go with them. However. There's a question about another team. More on that in a moment, mm-hmm. because when we do our bar talk segment. So, out of any of these teams that were that we got listed over here, let me just go back, throw that up there. Who's who's a team that you think is poised to move up the list, and who's one do you think that can move down the list? And we'll go with your list first. For my list, yeah. um. I, I I could say that the Rangers could move up the list. Um, I think they might have a little trouble because I think that the, the top five teams right now are playing really good hockey, maybe minus Carolina, who's been a little up and down, but they're still a great team and they're going to rebound. But the Rangers, with some deadline moves, could move up this list. 
Um, I think if you're talking about anybody that could be off the list, if LA, Dallas, or Edmonton cool down any bit, I, I, I would have them off the list. So, uh, I gotta, you know what? I'm gonna flash that up again one more time, real quick, because uh, a team that I just believe in a lot is the St. Louis Blues. But I, I, I gotta tell uh, you, Phil, uh, there was uh, Court pointed out something here. Yeah, go ahead. Anthony has the, the Panthers twice on his list. Fucker, that's my mistake. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh boy. Fool this man. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hold on. Oh man, Mark needs the second the second Panthers is the Calgary Flames. Calgary Flames, yes. I'm just looking at his list right now, actually. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, Justin. So Justin <laughs> strikes again. Justin strikes again. This is what happens when you're on, you're operating on zero sleep, everybody. But it's so any event, uh, you know, I, I got to tell you, and I got to tell this, this one to you. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll wait to tell you the story and, and, um, uh, the bar talk. But by the way, so I was watching, uh, the Detroit Carolina game at the bar the other night and, uh, John, all things Islanders, who had uh, he had a parlay going, and the only thing he needed to do was needed Carolina to win. It's all he needed, and of course, there's a turnover by a defenseman. You're going to guess who it is in a second, and I don't even have to guess. I, pro- I I I'm pretty sure I already know who it is. Yeah. So turnover by a defenseman. Dylan Larkin walks in, scores, game over, or ties the game, and then they go to overtime, and then they lose. So who's the defenseman? Brady Shea. Because you can't spell t- a turnover or giveaway without Brady Shea. So it's yeah. just, I mean, come on. That's, it, it's, 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 it's just way too much. And I liked Brady Shea when he was here, but they're, they're, my goodness. I don't know if David Quinn ruined him or if AV ruined him, but somebody ruined him. I know that because uh, he looked pretty good. Guys, what do you think? Who is the best defense? Uh, who is the best team in the NHL right now? And also, do you agree with our rankings, or do you think Florida's so good they should be on there twice? <laughs> anyway, um, I'll, I'll I'll put the Calgary Flames w- where they should be on there. Anthony's got them at five. So uh, throw it all down in the comments below. So if you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.